everyone. I'm back with another video and in today's video we have an Asus VivoBook X 505Z model and in this video I'm gonna go over how you can open it up and how you can replace or remove the hard drives or SSD and how you can just uh, upgrade them. Just remember by replacing your main hard drives or SSD you are gonna lose your windows and your files so back up your files and back up your in documents that you need on an external hard drive but if you're going to upgrade the main ssd which on this model is 128 gig i recommend you move your documents to the mechanical drive and once you replace the ssd i recommend you to install the windows freshly installed on your new uh, ssd it takes up to five to ten minutes not longer and once you do a windows update and all the drivers will be installed automatically and with the Windows license key, it will be associated to your link to your Microsoft account if you logged in with your Microsoft account previously. So put your Microsoft account and it will activate the Windows if you had an original Windows in here. And I have a link how to create your Windows 10 or 11 USB boot drive. I'll leave those links in the video description. I made another video how to install it properly on Asus laptops. And but in this video, we're going to open it up and we're going to see how we can remove and add the hard drives. All right, with all this set, back up your files, turn it off, power it off, grab your screwdriver set. I recommend you that I fix the screwdriver set as they have one of the best screws out there. You're going to be using a Phillips number one from this tool set. If you purchase a pro version of the pro set, they will include you with an opening tools and some tweezers. If not, grab yourself a Guitar pick and metallic guitar picks are really suitable to opening cases and covers. A curved tweezers are really handy for removing connectors. With these two on hand, we're gonna get it started. So first thing first, on the bottom of the laptop, you're gonna see a whole bunch of screws. All the screws are the same size and height, so don't worry about mismatching them. We're gonna go ahead and remove all of them. I'm gonna put a, a workshop towel, I don't wanna scratch. Okay, so you start from one corner and remove all the screws. Also, if you guys like my videos, if you find my videos helpful and helping you guys out, you can support the channel by clicking that like and subscribe. I will greatly appreciate it. It helps and motivates me to make more videos, take requests, and answer your questions in the comment area. I appreciate that. All right, I'm going to fast forward this part, removing all the screws. All right, once we remove all the screws, now we're going to grab our opening tool, in this case, a guitar pick. And we are going to open up the laptop a little bit, and we're going to stick the guitar pick between the palm rest and the bottom cover, just like that. And we, once we have it in there, we're going to twist it towards the screen, and we're going to hear a big click sound coming out from the case. That's what you want to hear. You want to work yourself around within one or two centimeters all around. And I'm sticking about two or three millimeters. I'm not sticking the whole thing, so... Let's take it, go all the way to the back corners, all the way there, left and right side. All right, once you did the left, I'm going to close it, but not all the way, because we're going to flip it upside down well, on the side, so we can see the back end. By the back rear, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to just stick it right there and twist. And we can release the back side. Okay, now we are going to open it up in 45 degree angle. There. And we are going to lift up the palm rest, but not all the way, only 45 degree because there's a flex cable here. We need to remove the flex cable for the keyboard and the trackpad. There's a tiny lock at the back here. You want to put your finger there and lift it up 90 degree upward. And then slide back the flex cable. Same thing for the trackpad. Put your finger there and then slide back. Now, this way you can remove the palm rest, I mean the palm rest and the keyboard. Now, down here we're going to see a mechanical hard drive, but I don't see the SSD that it comes with this one. Because the SSD, they make your life really miserable. They put it on the other side and there's no power for it. Customer experience for upgrade, this is horrible because why can't they just put it on this side, make it easy, but 
No, they rather put it on the other side. All right. Next, what are we going to do here? Uh, first, we see the mechanical hard drive. You can replace the mechanical drive. Um, you can put a solid state drive in here too to remove it. There's a one, two, three screws in here. Remove the three screws that hold the caddy in place. To do this upgrade, you do not need to remove the battery. It's not important to remove the battery as long as you don't touch the other component with a metal object. So what are we going to do once we remove the screw? We're going to slide it backward and we're going to scoop it from the back side upward like that. And there's your mechanical hard drive. It has a little caddy. The caddy has been held down by four screws, two on this side and two on the other side. Let's say that you got a new hard drive. The hard drive will be just like that, but it has to be a low profile. It's a thick profile. It has to be a low profile hard drive. So you want to grab yourself a low profile up to two terabyte. Make sure the orientation of the connectors are facing the same orientation. You want to put it right in there. Remove the four screws, remove the old one, put the new one. The solid state drive, they do install the same way exactly. So make sure the connectors are facing the same side. Remove the two screw there, two screw there, and remove the hard drive, put the new one, and says you're done. So that's how you remove and upgrade your mechanical drive to an SSD or to higher capacity low profile. Now, to get to the other side, we do need to remove the battery or disconnect the battery. To do that, there's one screw holding it. Remove this tiny screw. Now, you want to push this trigger backward like this really hard. And while you're doing it, lift up the battery by here. Bring it upward. There we go. Now, you can slide it back. There's your battery. We're going to remove the screw for the Wi-Fi board. And we are going to put your finger on the Wi-Fi and lift up the cables for the Wi-Fi. Remove the audio cables, the speaker cables in here. Put your two fingers right at the side of the jack and pull it back. Or use a tweezers if you fingernails you can't reach. Remove the bridge cable 90 degree up. 90 degree up, slide it back, slide it back. Remove the three screw on the motherboard, one right there, and there, and there. So there's a three screw holding the motherboard. All right, once you remove the three screw on the motherboard, the motherboard is still not coming out, not budging, but there's a tiny hook right in here. You want to lift this hook this side, and then you want to lift it up. You do not need to remove the flex cable for the LCD. Leave it the way it is. Just grab another workshop towel. Put it on the screen so you don't scratch the screen with the motherboard. And we're going to lift up the motherboard. Bring it, scoop it back this side. And bring it, put it right there. And right away we can see the other side. There's a random right there. They could have easily made a cover they actually had an intention for the cover right there you see this shape that's where the cover for the ram should have been and for the ssd they should have left a cover right in here for the ssd but i love i think asus loved us so much and they didn't want to worry about that all right the ssd this is an sata ssd you can put an nvme on this laptop and it's much much faster the NVMEs only have one notch. This one has two notches. So this is, a NVMe. This is an M.2 SATA with a two notch, which is slower than NVMe. The NVMe only has only one notch. To remove this one, you want to remove the screw at the back. And you want to lift it up, and it, will, it should come out in 45 degree angle, just like that. And you want to slide it back in 45 degree angle. OK? Now. And once you get the new one in, make sure the notch matches the notch right there. Only can go one way. You want to slide it down in 45 degree all the way towards the jack. And then bring it down towards the screw hole. And then screw it down. There we go. All this opening just for putting this one in or putting the RAM. Pretty much is like a horrifying. Anyway. So let's say that you put the new hard drive in the new SSD upgrade. You want to bring it down, put the motherboard down on the I.O. side, on the left side down. Make sure nice and snuggle. Make sure the screw hole, let me remove this. The screw hole match right there. 
and then once it's matching, right in here you want to push it down and it's going to click. Put the cable for the connector for the speaker. Okay. Put a screw for the Wi-Fi board. Align the cables over the jack and with one finger just snap it in place, push it down. Don't force too much, just it has to go softly in and snap in. Grab the bridge for the IO on the right side, squeeze it right under the jack, you squeeze it under the jack and lock it there. Okay, put the three screws for the motherboard. I believe it's this one, yes. Oh, that was for the hard drive. Are they the same size? So, yeah. Put the screws for the motherboard, three of them. Okay, we're gonna grab the hard drive. The hard drive right in here, we're gonna put it offset position, slide it in to the jack. Right there. Put the three screws for the carry that holds the hard drive. Now we're gonna grab the battery. We're gonna slide it down this end down. Make sure the screw hole match and the clips are there. Put it on top. Push down this side, uh, right on the connector. Push down this side, it clicks in. Put the single screw on the battery. So there's a battery screw, but they don't put the screw on it. There's actually actual screw. I don't know if yours has this one from the factory. They didn't put the screw on top. They should have had one. But I guess they forgot. Let me know in the comment if yours had one or not. All right, once you're done with this one, you want to grab the palm rest. Before we do anything, make sure the locks are open. First, we're going to put the trackpad. We're going to slide it right underneath there, right inside the jack. Gently and lock it down, push the lock down. And grab the flex cable for the keyboard and lock it down. And last thing is, we just bring it down and pinch the size, the front. And make sure you do nice big click sounds. That's what you want to hear. All right? Once you're done with this one, and then last thing is to put the bottom screws at the bottom cover in here. I'm just going to power it on. There we go, the light is on. And we should be ready to go. It takes up to five seconds because to power on because we removed the battery. Just be patient, don't panic. And eventually you will see the logo. Okay, I hope you guys liked this video and helped you guys out. If you have any questions or requests, feel free to leave them in a video comment. I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video. The flickering on the screen is because of the refresh rate. With my naked eye, I don't see this flickering because of the refresh rate of the, this panel is really horrible. The camera can detect it. Just remember, yours is not going to have any windows on it. You have to freshly install your windows. And that will be all for this video.